I'm Sam Tom with Summit Street Survey. An e-consultancy report found that 88% of consumers sometimes or always turn to online reviews before they make a purchase. Now that review could be a simple thumbs up or it could be a paid for in-depth report compiled by an independent review service such as Witch. So in this week's Summit Street survey, I'm asking shoppers, under what circumstances would you pay for a review? If I was looking for somewhere to stay for on holiday, I would pay for it because I think reviews there matter. I think if you're spending like a couple of hundred on something, like I think it's worth paying for a review. It depends on what the review is for. If you want to know that you're not making a bad decision, because we all have regrets, you know, from things that we buy. Film and theatre reviews I'd probably pay for. Like if, I, if Rotten Tomatoes, you had to pay for that. If it's like a proper critic talking about yeah. it, then I'd probably pay for it because it's more like they actually know what they're talking about. I suppose the structure of how they review it, so is are all the bases being covered, such as where the product is made or service, um, how it's made, you know, ethical factors. I think if you were to pay, you'd want it to be someone yeah, that's I mean, it's, in a qualified position. Yeah, what you're buying. If you're buying like a, I don't know, like a car or something, spending like a lot of money, then possibly. And then in the long run, a couple of quid for a review is nothing in comparison to mm. you suppose like potentially you spending a thousand pounds on something exactly. and it not working. It's probably just easier to look at a review elsewhere for free. <laughs> That's true.